So, how are you? Let's get to going with our AP Calc Notes and our fabulous new split screen. All right, so part two of the notes is coming now. These are the examples. And part one was more of the explanation, and I'm going to go over that with you live, right before this. Okay, so here's an example. E to the T squared equals e to the t plus 6. And of course, the bases are the same. So the exponents are equal. t squared equals t plus 6. <coughs> t squared minus t minus 6 equals 0. This is from Algebra 1. I don't know. t minus 3, t plus 2. That looks pretty good, doesn't it? And so t equals 3 or negative 2. And uh, we're looking good. Okay, so this one here, we got 4 to the negative x equals 2 to the x plus 1. Does that help? Does that make it easier to see? Maybe. Try this. You guys can tell me which one's better. Okay. All right, so when the bases are different, you have to make the bases the same. So this one I can make as 2 squared to the negative x. It's 2 to the x plus 1. So this becomes 2 to the negative 2x equals 2 to the x plus 1. So the bases are the same, so now the exponents are the same. And so we get uh, x equals negative one-third. You can see that pretty well. Let me know if it got better. Let me know tomorrow if it got better. I turned off that one line. Okay, now this one is e. Oh, that's hard to see, isn't it? e to the two t plus one. Oh, like eleven. Is that better? A little better. All right. I don't know why that was so faint. Equals nine e to the one minus t. Now this time you have a coefficient in front of. Your e, so you're still going to take um, you're still going to take the natural log of both sides. Oh, by the way, by the way, back here, here, technically, what I did was I took nice. the natural log of both sides, which causes the exponents to come down. Okay, so I'm still going to be taking the natural log of both sides. I'm going to take the natural log That's of lovely. each side. Okay, let's see what that looks. You've got, on the left, you're going to have 2t plus 1. What is it going to look like on the right? Well, let's see. It's going to be the natural log of this. And uh, that's just going to be, you could use, because this is a product here. So you can do the... the that was on that worksheet. Let's see, 2t plus 1, natural log of 9, plus the natural log of e to the 1 minus t, is of course 1 minus t. Okay, equals 2t plus 1. All right, uh, let's see. Let's subtract 1 from both sides. Let's add t to both sides. All right, so these guys cancel. I get this cancel. I get natural log of 9 over here. On the left, I get 3t. So uh, divide by 3. T equals natural log of 9 over 3. There it is. 
Okay. More on the back. All right. Now this one, I, uh, getting things down here. Okay. Now I, I did want to explain one thing to you here. So to simplify something that is, you know, the log of b equals x. So it's not an equation, right? You want to simplify something like that. You can just set it equal to y to make this. So if I wrote like equals y, look like. And you can switch to this, which was uh, on part one of the notes. We talked about that. Um, in other words, when you see log b of x, ask yourself, b, okay, so looking here, this to what power equals that? Okay, so here we go. Log 3 of 27. It's just, oh, I got a scooch. Here we go. Log 3 of 27. That means 3 to what power equals 27. So I just stuck a variable y there. It doesn't take long to figure out that 3 to the third is 27, so y equals 3. So you say that the log of log 3 of 27 equals 3. Equals 3. There it is. Eventually we'll find it. Space got in the way. Here's another example. Log 2 of 2 to the 5 thirds. 2 to what power equals that? Well, duh. 2 to what power equals 2 to the 5 thirds? Well, how about 5 thirds? It's 2 to the y equals 2 to the 5 thirds. Y equals 5 thirds. So that thing just equals 5 thirds because these two numbers were the same. There, this was raised to a power. Okay, last one. Log 4 of 48 minus log 4 of 12. Like in the split screen? Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. So, uh, one of our rules from the other uh, page was that when there's a difference of logs of the same base, it's the same as the, the log of that base to the uh, fraction of those numbers. This one divided by that one. So that is 1, pretty simple. Log 4 of 4 is going to be 1 because 4 to the 1 power is equal to 4. All right, well, that's fabulous. So your homework is, oh, by the way, on this worksheet, homework, uh, the worksheet has four problems, but the last two are hyperbolic sine or hyperbolic uh, trig functions, which are not covered on the AP test. So we will skip those two problems. I'm going to skip everything that's not going to be on the AP test, except for one thing which you'll thank me. You'll thank me for showing you, but it's quite a ways in the future. Okay, ciao.